Hi guys, it's Leah and today I decided to do a pre-med study tips video for you guys. One of my amazing subscribers, LaKayla, if you're watching this girl, this is for you, okay? She had asked me to do an update journey since I haven't made a video for you guys on my medical assisting lately, okay? So... I thought this would be the perfect video to get out for you guys because I don't know about you guys, but where I live right now, it's time for midterms, it's time for finals. So I thought this would be a great video to show you guys on how I been studying lately with all my medical stuff. So I'm gonna share 10 tips with you guys, 10. That's a lot of tips, okay? So I'm gonna give you guys 10 tips on my studying tips that I do for my medical classes. There is hair on me. Without further ado, let's get started with these tips. My study tip number one for you guys is to read the lecture before you go to class. So as you guys know, I am in a technical college, which means everything is really fast paced. So there's no time to go back. It's only time to go forward. You have to grasp everything right there when we learn it as a group or you will not catch up or you will not understand. But reading the lecture at home is very important because when you get to class, professors are only required to go over the important parts or the key points in the lecture. For me, I read the lecture at home and I read until I finish the whole entire lecture and when I get to class, when they go over those key points, it'll be easier for me to understand what they are saying because I already read the chapter before. And on top of that, read out loud. Read out loud in your room, outside, I don't care where you are, read out loud because your brain will memorize that information better if you read it out loud. Just My second study tip for you guys is to color code. With color coding, I use only colored pens and highlighters. Only reason why I use those things is because when it comes to taking notes like if I was taking notes on the side your eye catches color better than just a typical black and white like don't go crazy with it don't rainbow the whole notes because you're gonna be too busy paying attention to the color more than the information pick only uh, two main colors and I use one for the bullet and then I use the other pen for the information following the bullet you'll see what I'm talking about and then when I go over with highlighter that's important. Um, I highlight my notes only with one main color because like I said, I don't want it to look like a rainbow just threw up on the paper. So I usually use uh, an orange or a yellow because that catches my eye better and that's like a really bright color. I only use that for very important things. I don't highlight every single word because if you highlight every single word it's not gonna benefit you at all and my study tip number three is flashcards flashcards are very beneficial for me personally I cannot live without flashcards you know I am in medical terminology okay so terminology is a lot there's a lot of things to remember in terminology so what I do is that I write the combining form the prefix or the suffix on one side and I put the definition for that particular word on the other side and I'll go through the cards and I'll do it a couple times but the cards that I seem like I cannot grasp or fully understand I put them in a different pile and the cards that I do understand I put them in a separate pile the cards that I do not understand I'll keep studying those particular cards up until my quiz day my fourth study tip is to have a study schedule and I study at least 30 minutes to an hour on the weekdays after I get out of class because I'm not in class very long yet if I study 30 minutes then I don't take a break because 30 minutes is really quick for me but if I were to study for an hour, then I will take a 15 minute break. On the weekends, since I have all this time and I'm not doing anything, I study for at least three hours. But I do take frequent breaks in between that three hours. Cramming does absolutely nothing. If you wait to the last minute to study for something, you're not gonna get it. You might remember some things, but you won't remember everything. My fifth study tip for you guys and this is my favorite one is to draw diagrams and color them I want you guys to draw diagrams pictures anything you can think of and color them okay because that's gonna help you a whole lot better than just staring at words all the time we did drawings on the skin okay and when we had to break up the body into the quadrants and the regions that helped me a whole lot better than just reading the information in the textbook because when I can physically see it, 
see the picture, it helps me remember it a whole lot better. It's going to help you remember where things are located, okay? So that's gonna be very important later on down the line if you guys are still gonna pursue your pre-med and go to medical school. My sixth study tip for you guys is to have a study area. We do have a student lounge and I do study in that or I do go to the library because the library is very quiet and I like to be in a very quiet environment. Like most people like to study in like a coffee shop or a cafe and usually that is really loud. It's hard for me to study in a loud environment because I start getting focused on everything but what I am actually doing. But if I have headphones, then I can study in any type of environment. So it depends on how I'm feeling. And being in a quiet environment also motivates you to work. My seventh study tip for you guys is to get plenty of sleep and to drink lots and lots of water. So as you guys know, you are supposed to get eight hours of sleep. And I know for pre-med students and even medical students, it is hard to get eight hours of sleep every night. I want you guys to try to study earlier in the day even if you have work when you get off work study but don't study so long that's why I said on the weekdays you should study 30 minutes to an hour because I don't want you guys staying up all night trying to study I want you guys to get some sleep you are supposed to drink eight cups of water every day me myself and I I am guilty of not drinking eight cups of water every day, but recently I have, and you won't believe it. So I switch between water and coconut water because sometimes I get tired of water, sometimes I get tired of coconut water, so. And I do put them in this little cup thing, and I drink like four of these, like every day. My eighth study tip for you guys is to study with videos, okay? Study with YouTube videos at that. I only use one particular person. I know you guys have heard of him because he's all over YouTube, okay? I do use Crash Course, guys, because he shows you everything you need to know, and he does it in terms where you can understand it. There's nothing that he does not have on there, okay? So there's the heart, the lungs, the bones, the muscles. My ninth study tip for you guys is to study with music probably heard with a lot of study tips people study with classical music but I'm not really of a classical music type of girl I don't mm, do listen to Japanese instrumental music and it's very calming and relaxing and soothing and it helps me a lot um, I stick my headphones in it helps me so much to focus even if I was in a loud environment I want you guys to find music that instrumental music that you particularly like you yourself with your music interest and make a playlist actually it's been proven that instrumental music helps you remember things a whole lot better if you were not to listen to music at all my tenth and my last study tip for you guys is to don't give up I know pre-med is hard I know I know girl I know being a pre-med student is hard okay because there's a lot you have to remember there's a lot of things you have to do the human body itself is a difficult structure okay guys there's a lot of things that goes to a human body that people really don't understand like the smallest thing helps your body out in ways you can never understand and you have to memorize all of those things who are the one that wants to make a difference in somebody else's life being in the medical field is so great. I love it. You are a hero because you are going out there and putting yourself out there to help others around you and you're saving lives every day. Whether you know it or not, you are out there saving lives. I want you to breathe, relax. Don't overwhelm yourself with all this information. Take it step by step, taking baby steps at a time, and I promise you, you'll get there. That's it, guys, for my study tips. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you guys learned something from me. I want to inspire you guys with being in the medical field because being in a medical field is great. You get to see how many souls you touch and how much you help other people and it's great. Once again, I want to shout out my amazing subscriber, LaKayla, for wanting me to do this type of video for you guys, okay? I love you guys to death. I don't know what I'd do without you. Just know, guys, I love you so, so much, my small little family, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!